Hello, everyone. Hello, Pathfinders and Path to Publishing. I am Stephanie R. Bridges. I am a writer, author, publisher, entrepreneur, and I am so super excited to be here today to talk to you about my journey as an author and a business owner and how Path to Publishing and Joy Lynn M. Ross have had such a huge positive impact. So I was part, a part of the inaugural Path to Publishing, Act Like an Author, Think Like a Business Writing Conference in Las Vegas. And I was so super excited to attend because I had written and published a number of books, but I was really kind of stuck when it came to the marketing and networking and really getting myself out there. And I genuinely believe that if I worked with someone who had more experience and more knowledge, if I attended conferences, if I had a coach, you know, I could start to grow my business. So I was like, well, I am going to attend a con. Well, first, let me say this. I was like, I am going to get someone to assist me with my business. So there are lots of business developers and coaches out there and there were two people that I was thinking about. One was Joy Lynn M. Ross and one was another person. And the other person I, you know, definitely appreciate. I, I mean, she's the homie. But I remember in discussing, uh, you know, my writing and my journey with her. She was just kind of abrupt. And she said, well, you know, you'll never make any money with books. And I was kind of taken aback because, you know, writing was my thing. I was an author, you know, so, you know, that was my, my platform. That was, you know, my, my, what I stood on as a literary creative. And so when I spoke with Joy Lynn, she had a different take on things. So of course her take is act like an author think like a business. So it was a little bit more user-friendly. And the other person wasn't a writer. They weren't an author. And Joy Lynn is. So if you're writing a book, if you're a writer, if you're an author, you know you can be an author without being a writer, then I would definitely say you want to connect with someone who is also in your same industry. And I would say that regardless, whatever your industry is, because sometimes you can get a business coach, but they might not know that much about what it is that you do or you know your process or your way of thinking. So you spend so much time sharing with them, you know, just about the business that you're in, that it takes that time to really get to the point where they're helping you on your trajectory and on your journey. So of course, Joy Lynn understood, <laughs> understood, overstood, side stood. I mean, she knows the literary industry like no other. So that was my decision. I was like, well, I'm gonna go with Joy Lynn and Ross because you want know, to so that was my decision. And I live in Columbus, Ohio. So if you don't know, Joy Lynn lived in Columbus, Ohio too. So woo. <laughs> but when she started her Act Like an Author, Think Like a Publisher conference, she moved to Las Vegas. So, you know, I reached out to her. I let her know. I was like, I'm coming. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there in Las Vegas. I'm coming. I even got a grant so I can come because, you know, I wasn't really making no money as an author and, you know, writer and everything like that. And I used to write grants in order to help my creativity, you know, help my help me um, publish my books. I would write for artist grants. And so I let her know that I have received a grant to attend the conference. And so I was super excited about that. So when she heard that I received a grant to attend the conference, she was like, oh, well, you got to come and you got to speak. And I was like, no, I just, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to come and, and sit and, you know, take, 
take notes and listen and you know but she was like no 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 definitely come and speak because people need to know that there are grants and opportunities out there that there are funds out there and there are ways to get to the shmoney while you're getting to the shmoney so <laughs> so i was like okay now, I wasn't shy about speaking. You know, I've been in front of the people's, you know, I like a crowd. I like the mic. You know, I like to <laughs> get up and talk. So I was perfectly fine with that and excited to do it. But what I didn't know was that by her allowing me to utilize her platform and speak about grants and speak about shmoney, that it was going to help me build a platform form of my own because there's nothing else that people like well I shouldn't say there's nothing else I mean I'm sure there's something that people like more but people love money people like to hear how they can get to this money they came to the conference to find out how they can act like an author but think like a business think like an author and act like but act like a business that, that part <laughs> Because when you're in business, you're in the business to make money, right? So everyone was really excited about the content that I shared. And since we were all writers and authors, everybody asked me where the book was. And I was like, oh, you mean uh, um the book about the 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 um the book about the grants, right? Yeah, yeah, that book, yeah, yeah, that book. So when I got back home to Columbus, Ohio, I wrote the book. And it is seeking and securing funds. <laughs> It's a really good book, you guys. The book is so good. It is a part of uh, Joy Lynn's mandatory reading. And she ha has everyone read the book and actually do parts of the book to seek and secure funding. And so many Pathfinders have done just that. So, but back to what I was saying. So it helped me build a platform because I went back I wrote the book. People were getting the book. And I was like, wow, I met all these different authors nationwide as well as local in Columbus, Ohio that I didn't even know. I mean, some of my like besties, you know what I'm saying? I met in Las Vegas and we're here in Columbus, still have amazing relationships three, four years later. And I started the Bridges Book Club because I was like, you know, we're all authors, we're all writers. A lot of us are indies. You know, we're trying to act, think like businesses, you know, let's collaborate, let's work together. And so that's one of my platforms, Bridges Book Club club.com and it is an author-led book club where we share information with one another and you know we help one another build literary legacies it's also a facebook group bridges book club and i think we're like a thousand plus strong on the facebook group and there are a number of paid authors as well so i'm super excited about that so again, went back, wrote the grant guide. Everybody's asking me about grants. So I started helping people with grants and I also started securethegrant.com. So I have a website, securethegrant.com, bridgesbookclub.com. I told you by hershing her platform, help me build platforms. And I have the Facebook group, the free Facebook group, Secure the Grant. So people wanted me to write grants, write grants, write grants. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll do a little grant writing. And one of my first, my first clients was none other than Joy Lynn M. Ross. And when I tell you, she, I can only think of two, maybe three people. I've consult, I've been the, on the consultant side with a number of people. But she is like top of the class with, you know, gathering knowledge, taking notes, acting on it, moving forward, doing the dang thing. So I can, I, I mean, I can, no question in my mind at this point, she has received more grant funding than I have. I'm 100% sure because her platform was a lot larger and 
her business structure was a lot more sound than what my what mine was. I was just a I was just a solopreneur, and and I shouldn't say just, but you know that's what I was a solopreneur. So there was more opportunities, and and she understood that by you know us having those discussions and me helping her tweak her proposals and different things like that. She understood the magnitude of the money that was available out there. And not only was I able to share that opportunity with her, but just to tell her some of the things that she should do locally that I was doing here in Columbus, Ohio. And wow, you, they, they, they came to fruition. They happened. They did. They happened. <laughs> So she is a part of so many different local organizations that provide funding and not just um, the grants, but also loans and state and county opportunities and different things like that. So she really, I should be having her do a video for me right now. Wait a minute, hold up. But she um, was one of the first, one of my first clients. And so I actually stopped because I am a creative writer and that's really my passion. And so I actually stopped um, writing grants and, and doing that work for smaller entities, but really working with her and all the information that I learned from her, it really gave me the confidence to start working with larger institutions and organizations. So now my client isn't B to B, is B to big B. So when I'm taking on clients, I'm taking on clients that are, uh, we're doing tens of thousands of dollars in contracts. Um, and I have been able to work in that space and really just kind of skyrocket. So Another platform that I started that I have is a fashion one. So during the pandemonium, during the pandemic, I kind of pivoted, you know, because I was going out, I was doing author events and, you know, pitching my tent and selling books and different things like that. But I kind of pivoted to the fashion space. And in doing that, I was like, oh, I can be a stylist and this and that. And again, Joy Lynn was one of my first clients. So I just cannot tell you. So it is, it, it is true that you should definitely go to the conference. You are going to learn so much from someone who has more experience. I mean, because not she she has more experience, not just because of the number of years she has in the literary business, but because of the different um different uh things she has done. I couldn't think of no I'm a whole writer out here. I couldn't think of nothing but things. But you know, she's been an agent, she's been an author, she's been a publisher, she's been an editor. She's worked with large publishing houses, small publishing houses. She has her own publishing house. She's done self-publishing. I mean, the gamut. She has a platform where she's helped so many indie authors get their books off the ground. She's done the marketing side of it. I mean, I look, I I cannot tell you, I cannot explain, I cannot express how you should run, don't walk, to get registered for the Act Like an Author, Think Like a Business conference. It would behoove you. Because the thing about it is we're all transitioning and getting into different phases of our lives and our businesses and our creativity. She she just had a movie released. Okay, you guys, a movie released. So you don't know how long you're going to have this opportunity to build this connection. And I'm so ecstatic that I signed up, that I showed up, that I went because I have a lifelong connection with Joy, with the, excuse me, <clears throat> with the Joy Lynn M. Ross. But not only that, I have a business relationship. And that is so important because the two of them are different. And both of them have their their benefits. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, the, another thing, she she sponsored me when I did. I did a King Arts Complex um, art exhibit and presentation. And she was one of the sponsors. And now I can say in 2022, in Spirit, Power, and Truth Publishing, LLC, my business is a sponsor of the Act Like an Author Think Like a Business 2022 conference. And I'm so excited to be on the other side and be a sponsor and be someone that can sew in to this amazing business, this amazing institution, this amazing corporation, this platform that helps so many get their book done and get it like shoo, and and so much more i mean honestly i it has changed my life it has changed my tax bracket and i would love to say that oh it's been about books and it's been about writing but it's really been about believing in yourself and her sharing the knowledge of intellectual property and her sharing that we all have it. So we walk around and we see certain people, whether it be on television or social media or on a stage at the conference. And we're like, oh, they have information. They have knowledge. They have power. I need to seek after that person. But the people in the stands have it too. The people in the audience have it too. The people watching me right now, you... I don't know where the, the camera is on the phone, you guys. You have it too. And she just has an amazing ability to show you that side of you. You know what I mean? I was like, who I be again? You know, and she really, she really shared that uh, with me. And I mean, like, sky is the limit if there was a limit because at this point there is no limit so i just want to thank thank joy lynn and ross i want to thank the path of publishing crew the uh pathfinders you know how we do and we're a family you guys we're a family we have fun we you know we get along and we we're good people so you know we're good to hang out with and it's just an uh, um, amazing opportunity to learn and to grow your business. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a sponsor. And this conference 2022 is going to be out of this world. I'll see you there. <laughs> Peace.